Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO. Free, impartial advice on all your debt. Andrew McCart, IFL TV, in association with MTK Global. Delighted, as always, to be joined by Harlem Eubank. Harlem, it doesn't seem, it seems like yesterday I saw you in your last fight. How's things? I know, I know. It hasn't been long, has it? Three months. But um, we're back, and I'm fighting consistently. And, you know, this is what I want to be doing to, to keep improving and, you know, keep on the uh, journey to becoming the best martial artist I can be. Thing is, as well, you've got another tough opponent on your hands here. You had a tough one in Martin McDonough. You said that you were going to do, we done an interview uh, before the fight, you said you can stop him and you did. Um, this fight against uh, Danny Darko, undefeated, um, you, you share the same opponent in Martin McDonough. Um, what's your thoughts on Danny in this fight itself? He's a solid fighter. Um, he's, you know, he's on a run of, you know, beating good opposition and um, he's solid, you know, he's, uh, he's sound and um, it's, it's a good opportunity for me to test myself against this kind of opposition. These are the kind of fighters I want to be in there with, you know. This is where you can really test yourself, you know. And um, these are the kind of fighters I think where they'll bring out the best of me and really show what I can do. All going well for you tonight. Um, you beat Danny Darko. What's next for you? Because like I said to you last time as well, your, the division you're in is, is, is stacked domestically. I mean, we just need to mention McKenna and Baha Davis. Um, at a, at a elite, uh, world level as well, Jack Carroll, Josh Taylor. I mean, the division is stacked. For you, you beat Danny Darko, surely. Is it the English title you want next, British title? What's, what's on the cards for you? There's, you know, the division is stacked full of talent. Um, it's a very, very entertaining division. Loads of different styles, uh, great fighters. So, it's, um, but like I said last time, you know, I'm not looking past this fight. This is a, you know, this will be, this will be a great fight. And, um, I'm not looking past this, but I just want to continue to develop in the craft and you know take it step by step. And my team, you know, will, will um, sort the fights that you know will develop me onto the next stage of my career. Um, I'm just focused on this fight, and um, I'm looking forward to um, showing what I can do in there tonight. The fact that you want to show, uh, you were saying that you want to be the best martial artist that you can be. Your mindset seems different from the first time I interviewed you last year or a, couple, a year and a half ago. When I spoke to Adam Booth at your last fight, he says that you, what you've done in the gym, your progression has been second to none. Mick Collin as well said to me yesterday that the improvements that you've shown in the gym has been zero to a hundred. Do you know what I mean? So what's changed in your mind that's gave you this hundred percent focus? And you, you mentioned the martial arts side of things and I've seen that you do that stance now in your way in, which I like, you, you put a little gi, and some of the gi emoji yeah, and yeah, some yeah. of your tweets and stuff like that. So what's changed in your mind? Um, I think it's just, you know, if there's one thing that, you know, can really grow you, it's combat, you know, it's, it's, it's such a truthful practice. Um, and if you're not truthful, um, you will find out, you know, with, by force, you know. Um, so there's, there's no hiding in, in combat. And I think it does, it makes you grow physically and, you know, mentally and emotionally. And um, I think it's just that process of growth, you know, um, in the gym. As you've heard, you know, I'm improving at a fast rate. And now it's just about showing, you know, what I'm doing in the gym and bringing it out in the night. And um, with, you know, with regular fights, you know, that's, that's going to um, help me transfer my work from the gym, you know, bring it into the ring and put on a show for the fans. Are you interested in other sort of forms of combat like MMA, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Karate and all this sort of stuff and, and, and Muay Thai? Are, yeah. you, do you, are you a fan of these sports? Would you ever venture into these sports uh, at a later date? Um, I'm definitely a fan, fan of, you know, different forms of combat. Um, I find it interesting, you know, to see different methods, you know, of, of competing against each other. And, I, I, you know, I love to watch each style of martial art. Um, in terms of going into another one, you know, I, I really feel like um, I took up boxing because I wanted to, you know, really develop. Um, it's, you're obviously only using two hands, you know, and um, there's so much variety in how you can do that to um, 
bring around different, you know, results and different um, styles and of of fighting. So um, I really, you know, came in this to to focus on boxing. So I don't see myself venturing t into other forms of combat at this stage. I'm really, you know, focused on trying to master this art form. Going back to the Danny Darko, then you were confident in you getting the stoppage against Mar McDonald last time out. Again, I'm going to just be blunt with it. Are you confident you can stop Danny Darko in this fight? I think it's a possibility. Um, it's you know, it's what happens in there. It's timing. It's you know, what mindset he comes with. Um, yeah, I'm not. I'm not focused on you know, going out there to try and stop him. I'm, I want to um, go in there, you know, with you know, a flow state mindset and, and react. You know, and when that when that happens, um, and I land, then you know, that could result in a, a stoppage. What can the fans expect? You're going to be on Sky Sports. Um, unfortunately, again, I keep saying this, I have this on in every interview, there's still no fans in the arena. But you fought once already with no fans. Um, two parts to this question. How did you find it? The first uh, first time against Mark McDonald with the no fans and it was just maybe me in there waving my hands and stuff like that. <laughs> uh, to Obviously, what can the fans expect from you tomorrow night? The fans can expect an explosive performance. You know, it's two... Um, you know, high intensity styles um, that are going to clash, you know, and um, I'm excited to, to test myself in, in that scenario. Um, so the fans can, you know, can expect action throughout the 10. And um, I, I enjoyed it in there last time. Um, no fans, but, you know, it's, you, you, you're just fully zoned in on, on mm -hmm. the fight and you're in that kind of, like I said before, flow state mindset where you're just ready to react. So a lot of the time, you know, you, you you zone that crowd noise out anyway when you're in the ring and um, last time I enjoyed it hadn't been in the ring for it for over a year last time so it was just nice to get back in there and um, I'm looking forward to building on um, that last performance I've got to uh, Andy Scott said there uh, at the way in that your fight might be the show stealer we've got the two golden contract finals but it's your fight that might steal the show with Donnie Darko do you echo that, set, that statement from Andy Scott well I think it, I think it would be a great fight and um, again, it's the styles, you know, um, the fact we both come to fight, um, you know, and um, stars make fights. And I think this is this will be a great fight. I don't, you know, I think the other fights are obviously great matchups as well. Um, but, you know, we're, we're coming to put on a show, so I won't be surprised. Fine, before I let you go, I noticed that you, you've you got all the champion gear, just go down to your champion hoodie there, as you can see, champion, I've got oh. my champion hoodie on, yeah. is there any way you can work out a deal for me with champion and get me sponsored by them as well, Harlem, you know? I'm not sure, I've just, I'm, I've just tried, uh, Michael's just hooked me up with this one, so oh, I, think, I think he's the plug, you know, I'm not the plug. I'm is there no team Eubank hoodie, uh, tracks you can give me? Uh, we, we got, I'm sure I can get you a, a team Eubank, you know, get you in the gears. Uh, I'll see if see if we've got any upstairs for you. There we go. I'll take that. I'll take, I'm all about a freebie. <laughs> uh, Harlem, thanks for this for IFL TV. Good luck tonight. I just I said to Danny when I interviewed him, I'm really looking forward to this fight. I'm always excited about fight uh, boxing, but for you and Danny, it's a great fight. So people should tune in. But thanks for this for IFL TV, my man. Spot on. Thanks, Thank you, brother. Nice Thank you. Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO. Free, impartial advice on all your debt.